Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer, that's right, it's back after a full year of hiatus, and to start things off, Ampaka. Ampaka is a frame that wants to grab everything and break it in half, it won't be able to win any 100 meters murder dash like a standard blackbeard but it can certainly bear hug everything to death, as it has an integrated super heavy big hand that also has the capability to grapple multiple things at once, making Ampaka the king in claw machine. And bear in mind, this grapple save is rolled before attacking, meaning if you have things like Brawler or Pankrati, you get free plus one accuracy to your attack, plus, it works even when jammed, so you always have a weapon for last resort. Ampaka also has untenable power, which makes every hull check or save inflicted by it to be even worse, and a lot of things roll it. Just, yeah no, remember that it's still a blackbeard and the big hand gives two heat on use and you will get cooked because your e-defense is dog shit. As for the rolls, unsurprisingly, Ampaka is very very good at striker stuff, it's also very good as a controller due to all the grappling it will be doing, and it too works well as a defender because of its immense presence, but due to the fact that it can't use reaction like half the time, that's gonna limit it heavily, and of course, there's always some people insane enough to make it an artillery and support unit. Also, just as a reminder, the various first party Lancer supplements has been out for months already in the year between the hiatus, so you gonna see some new never before seen systems and weapons in this episode if you are catching up from past ones. Anyway, let's start it off with the striker controller builds. The Hand of Ra is a very typical Ampaka that's also half Manti core, as with any Ampaka striker build, you want to grapple people and beat the shit out of them, which with Executioner, that's going to be a lot of damage and grappling, as Executioner essentially gives you a minimum of 3 chances to grapple a whole lot of people. Ampaka is also kinda slow, which is why you have Hunter here to move quickly with more attack, and while the big hand cannot be modded as it's an integrated mount, Nuclear Cavalier works just fine with it. The Manti Core license here is for two things, Open Door, which makes your save target even worse for the enemy to roll, plus cooking them up, and Lightning Generator, because you will cook yourself often too, so might as well get some bonus damage with it. It's not even the only half Manti Core Ampaka, Danger Hugs here even has Seekomet just to be even more violent which is still possible, you can always be more violent, plus Pankrathy too so it can immediately move 20 spaces in a single turn if it wants to. Techno Crab here is also another half Manti Core Ampaka, one that decided to be a hacker Ampaka with Beckoner to gather up your foes and grapple all of them into one big ball of pain, aided by Scanner Swarm to let you hack better at point blank range, and since you will be grappling someone half of the time, having combined arms to give you soft cover is nice too, since you will be mostly out of cover. You will also notice that this build has a ton of bristle crown, which I will just call them brisket from now on, brisket is a weapon designed to deal with grappled enemy and even against a single enemy, they are quite powerful with 3 damage, Ampaka has an easier time grappling multiple enemies at once, you can probably figure out where this is going, so it's not a surprise to see them in a lot of builds, some even spam a lot of them like Iron Maiden here to make sure their foes are truly exploded, even comes with the uncle kinetic hammer to swing for more damage for free, that basically has all its difficulty cancelled by accuracies from combined arms, brawler, and pankrati, just keep punching and exploding as needed. Porcupine is also another brisket spam ampaka, a whole lot of briskets, it even has total strength sweet too to make sure someone will die when they are grappled by you, also, there's deep well heat sink here, just to maybe keep your reactor intact from not overheating. And here's a mountain remorse, another brisket spam ampaka, I wonder who named this build, how it works is simple, you have gravity gun, gravity gun is good at pulling enemy together, hug them and explode, and since you will be heating up a lot, having external batteries plus deep well to extend the big hand range a bit is maybe a good idea. Throngler is a half Zheng Ampaka, a near perfect combination for it since Zheng is about grappling and beating the shit out of people with a big fist, the total strength sweet series is perfect for it, with TSS 3 for when you want to turn someone into a bowling ball, also has a hull save involved, add in a heavy gunner Krakatoa to make sure nobody can leave without dying, this thing is dangerous as hell. Guerrilla Warfare is also another half Zheng Ampaka, one with the power of two super heavy as it also has a DD-288, which when charged, give you soft cover, making you harder to be hit even out in the open, and when enemies get close, 
or persuaded by allies to get closer, you can choose to grapple them or punch splode them, which with executioner, it's gonna get very funny, add in brawler 3 and tss3 for powerful stun option, and you can really be a menace. You see before you, nightmare, is also another half zheng ampaka, but with a tempest charged blade from dust grave to just go right through armor, other than that, it's everything you could expect from an ampaka. Invisible hand of the free market is a very simple ampaka, one that can turn invisible, thus proving that in every soul, there's two fear, ampaka, and invisible ampaka. You basically turn invisible with active camo, infiltrator, and reactive weave to get as close as possible before whacking someone, with spaceborne to make all your save worse, infiltrator 2 to make your victim unable to react or worse, executioner to smash someone nearby again, and infiltrator 3 to also blind someone, just to make things even worse than usual. It's not even the only invisible ampaka build as there's also the hand of the free market, definitely a very unique humor, with ghost weave here to keep you invisible with less heat cost, and flash charges to flash bang someone as needed, you also has reinforced cabling, to get to tricky places or just to pull someone down. Queen stupid of heat yourself mountain is an ampaka with 14 heat cap, that also has a displacer for catalytic infuser, which when ampaka's core power is active, also lets you incinerate foes that you are currently grappling, to say the very least, 14 AP energy damage is already enough to kill or maim most things, add in the super heavy and there's gonna be a lot of murder, but only when the core power is active, still, that's quite brutal. Let him cook is also another ampaka that gets quite hot, you basically just grapple enemies together, and then cook them up with your plasma thrower, a 1-2 combo to make sure they get quite grilled, with auto cooler to cool you down passively and explosive vent to take advantage of that. 15 the devil is one of the many ampaka build that have decided a new methodology on how to deal with heat, just don't give a damn and cook yourself, this thing has a plasma gauntlet, it's probably gonna overheat you, but also anything you use it on is probably very dead, so it's all good, it also has heat fall, so you can overcharge somewhat safely for more action if needed. Grasp Victory is also another half Tokugawa Ampaka, now with Lucifer to take advantage of all the heat you will be getting and send someone to hell earlier with it, a big hand boosted by Lucifer and Nuclear Cavalier can be a very devastating thing, especially with 12 heat cap, remember, stress is a resource, if you gonna lose it, use it. You cannot escape this flaw minus is another scanner swarm hacker ampaka that has purifying code from the cobalt, it's very simple, you grapple someone, and then you give them flaw minus, which causes them to explode if they do not get away from anything, this includes you who is choking the life out of them, add in a bunch of knives and brisket, and who say hacker cannot grapple. Heat hack hand car door is a half goblin ampaka, why? Is an ampaka that wants people to experience how it feels to be inside a microwave, first, you smash someone with the big hand, that's 4 heat, if they also failed the roll, with open door, that's 2 more, use Horo S3 for dimensional emblems and then drag them through all 3 of the data constructs, plus hacker 1, that's 8 heat, you have now overheated every single NPC in Lancer. O oh, Impaler, crush those who dare tread on Wallachia, is a half Vlad Mpaka that really wants to immobilize its foes, because even if you are slow, if your enemies are slower, you aren't. It's also very helpful that all Vlad systems involve hull save, so Ampaka can use them very effectively, just nail them to the ground, get close, and grapple the hell out of them. Chopping Sticks is also a half Vlad Ampaka, now with two charged stakes and also Seekomet for more violence, again, just impale enemies to the ground and then beat the shit out of them. Finally, there's Zabani Ya Delusional Heartbeat, another infiltrator Ampaka with Ghost Weave and Flicker Field to be damn near impossible to be hit, just get close and beat the crap out of your foes, and if needed, use stun crown to blind everyone and get the hell out. And that's basically it on the striker controller Ampaka, even if all of them involves a lot of grappling, you can see that there's a lot of ways to do the same thing well, though some are more, unique than others, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's move on to the striker defender builds. Everyone is invited is an ampaka that basically kidnaps people and then enclose the space around it with hard light defense system, so everyone inside can beat the crap out of them, plus with heat fall, you can use low heat overcharge to put up an argonaut shield for your allies real quick, plus flash anchor to keep your allies where they want to be. Mods, crush that guy's skull, is an exemplar ampaka instead, a very useful talent to keep someone focused on you as well as preventing them from running away which considering that you don't want to move so your swarm body could get stronger and grinds everything, it's very helpful, 
you also have Ferris Lash to bring people closer to you, ask your allies for help if the enemies are really too far. Tough, menacing at close range, these properties make Ampaka quite good at defending its allies by the means of murdering everyone that could hurt them, but ultimately, the fact that it can't use reaction much prevent it from doing better at this role. Next up, we have the Striker Artillery Builds. Thinking about shooting is a sniper Ampaco because as it turns out, crack shot, also involves a hull save, meaning Ampaco could actually be a devastating sniper with a nano comp AMR, plus an OP cal smart gun just to deal more damage, and when things get too close, you can remind them that you are in an Ampaco. Participation is mandatory is a Pinyaka missile Ampaco, you basically start by dropping off javelin missile, hex mine, or delayed Pinyaka, and then either use ferris lash or just grapple people to move them into those explosives, if the missile don't know where the target is at all time, just bring the target to the missile. If you think I got something smart to say about artillery Ampaka, I got nothing, I really got nothing, moving on to the final category, the striker support builds. When we come is a all theater fade cloak Ampaka, letting it moving right through and above any terrain to choke the living shit out of people, plus the prospector talent to create tunnel for your allies to move under obstacle quickly. Other than that, it's just a normal Ampaka that wants to break someone's spine in half. And finally, I'm sure all of you have been waiting for this, Bus is coming is a Fomorian mule harness Ampaka, ready to carry its entire team, plus plasma torch spam to cut right through terrain or heat gun your foes, add in prospector and blink charges, your team can move anywhere very quickly. And that's it on the striker support builds, which while Ampaka isn't really designed to, it can still work to a degree, and with that done, that's all 40 Ampaka builds finished reviewing, once again, I would like to thank all of my viewers who have submitted their builds for this episode. Ampaka is certainly a very unique frame, with an integrated weapon that's unsurprisingly very integral to its role of grappling basically everything, and there's a lot of ways to build off that, plus its traits that make hull check or save inflicted by it harder to get past, that's very useful too, and there's probably still a lot of systems and talents that involve a hull save that didn't get showed here in this episode, so there's still quite a lot for you guys to discover. Anyway, that's all for now and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.